Oh, you fragile, tremulous haunters of the deep glades, whose fingers part the leaves of beech and aspen ere you slip through, shall I see you again? Men have said unto me, these are but flying lights and shadows, light on the beech boles, clouds shadowing the cornfields, the wind in the flame of birches in autumn, wind shadowing the clear pools. But you cried, laughing down the wind, men are but shadows, but a vain breath. So here comes unto me that cry from the rejoicing air. Men are but shadows, and prone about me I see them hushed and sleeping in the hut, made solemn and holy by the night in the dead light of the moon. Shadowy, swathed in their blankets, asleep in hewn sepulchral caves, Egypt's and Asia's kings. While between them are the footsteps of glittering presences who say, Lo, one to be a sword upon my thigh, and the sleepers stir restlessly and murmur as between them pass the bright mailed choosers of the dead. Shall I see you again, O flying feet of the forest haunters, while I couch silent in the wet break of blossom, dark ivy wreathing your whiteness, ere I am torn from the scabbard, lo, one to be a sword upon my thigh, knowing no longer that earth lieth in the dews, shining and sacred. Menace hidden, but pulsing in the air of night, then a throbbing thunder split and seared with the scarlet flashes of innumerable shells, and against it suddenly a shell closer, a purr that changes to a whine like a beast of prey that has missed its kill, and again closer. But even in the thunder of the guns there is a silence, and the soul grows still. Yes, it is cloaked in stillness, and it is not fear. But the torn and screaming air trembles under the onset of warring angels with terrible and beautiful faces, and the soul is stilled, knowing these awful shapes that burden the night with oppression to be but the creatures of its own lusts. We are here in a wood of little beeches, and the leaves are like black lace against a sky of nacre. One bough of clear promise across the moon. It is in this wise that God speaks unto me. He lays hands of healing upon my flesh, stilling it in an eternal peace until my soul reaches out myriad and infinite hands toward him and is eased of its hunger. And I know that this passes, 
this implacable fury and torment of men as a thing insensate and vain. And the stillness has said unto me over the tumult of sounds and shaken flame out of the terrible beauty of wrath. I alone am eternal. One bow of clear promise across the moon. Out of the smoke of men's wrath, the red mist of anger, suddenly, as a wraith of sleep, a boy's face, white and tense, convulsed with terror and hate, the lips trembling. Then a red smear, falling, I thrust aside the cloud as it were tangible, blinded with a mist of blood. The face comes again as a wraith of sleep, a boy's face, delicate and blond, the very mask of God, broken. Blow, wind, strip the great trees that are like ebony against a sky of jade, ebony fretted and contorted. Blow, hunt the piled clouds that lash the earth with rain, roar among the swayed branches, sing shrilly in the grass, burdening the pines with the music of pain, for mine eyes desire the stars. Drown the senseless thunder of the guns, stream on the ways of air, hurrying before thee the yellow leaves and the tawny and scarlet, till my soul dance with them, dance delightedly as a child or a kitten catching at the gay leaves laughingly. For I would forget, I would forget and laugh again. Sing, thou great wind, smite the harp of the wood, for in you the souls of slain men are singing exultant, now free of the air, feather-footed. Yes, they swim therein toward the green twilight, surging naked and beautiful with playing muscles. Yes, even the naked souls of men, whose beauty is a fierce thing and slays us like the terrible majesty of the gods. Blow, thou great wind, scatter the yellowing leaves. Men have marred thee, O mother. Autumn has now no tawny and gilded leaves, nor murmuring among sleepy boughs, but stark and rhythm as a woman ravished with twisted, tortured limbs are mammoth's woods. Has not thy child, Persephone, tall men, yes, even all the children of the earth, bringing her tribute? But the reapers sing not in your wheat fields, tall sheaves wait ungarnered, though swallows are shrilling in the skies. We are reaped who were your reapers and slain our songs. We are torn as Yazon, beloved of you, mother, heavy the clay upon our lips. The grey rats fear us not, but pass quickly, sated over prone trunks, rent limbs, dead faces that are ashen 
under the moon. Love, who begat us, shall love slay us utterly? Shall we not mingle with earth as with sleep, dream into grasses, leafage, flowers, such being our very flesh, and shudder in the glitter of thin, shivering poplars that tremble like slim girls shaken at a caress, bowed in a clear, keen wind. Lo, in us, the glory of a new being, a wonder, a terror, an exultation, even in the filth of our shambles, loosened as lightnings upon us, devouring us, till we be but a shaken wrath of flames, a many-tongued music of thunder beyond the thunder of guns, and we fail beneath it, sink into our ashes, cower as dogs, while the glory of many shaken flames drowns in the grey of thy dawns that reveal unto us earth wasted and riven with iron and fire, desolate. You have turned from us, even so you are lovely as a woman grown old in sorrows with patient, kindly eyes, from whom has passed the shadow of desire, and her ears keep the whispers of many lovers as things heard in sleep. But you hear not our prayers, our strivings, the moans of our anguish, our mute agonies. Though your loins bear us in travail, though you are the bride of our desiring, yes, and the child of our desire in triple deity, knowing things past and things to come, when both meet on the instant, rounding to a who, this intense, keen edge of flame, consuming our poor dust. Sit you thus wisely silent, with subtle and inviolate eyes, knowing us but the shadow of your substance, as transitory as the leaves, even more wise, knowing us from the matter of our lives, not the sweet leaves the wind stirs, but the wind itself, whose passage the leaves shadow. There are no leaves now, in your woods, mammoths, 